Hey, this is Bex on Fun Kids. I am joined by the author, David Solomons. Hello. Hello, nice to be here. Welcome back. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, uh, you've been super busy. Be- I didn't yeah. see you that long ago, and now you've got another new book out. Uh, they just fall out of me. What can I tell you? <laughs> but this, this one is a bit different. Uh, it's a Doctor Who themed book. It is. It's an adventure with the brand new Doctor. It is Doctor Who, the secret in Vault 13 with yeah. uh, Jodie Whittaker's Doctor and her TARDIS team, as we are now calling them. Because, yeah, I mean, the TARDIS is getting pretty busy at the moment. Is, is it Graham, Yaz, and who's the third? And Ryan. It's Ryan, a good yeah. job it's bigger on the inside because it's getting quite crowded in there. It is exactly mm-hmm. that, yeah. What, so what was it? what's the news story about? They have a, an adventure they have to go and find a secret and a key in the vault they do all of the above yeah. so it starts off with the begonia as the best stories do sure. with a a, a a pot plant that communicates a message uh, an urgent message to the doctor um, uh, through a kind of plant network sort of like the grapevine yeah. and um, she finds herself at the galactic seed vault um, which is a, a repository in the in the far reaches of space where um, all the uh, plants in the universe are stored in case of a universal catastrophe so that the universe can be reseeded. Oh, right, OK. Um, and then at the heart of the vault is Vault 13 and there is something in the vault and that's what the story is about. What is it and who's after it and who's going to get there first and what it means for the fate of the universe. Now, this is really exciting. Were you Were you given the story or did you get told... You could write anything you wanted. I was told I could write anything I wanted. You know that exam question, the, the dreaded exam question, oh, yeah. right about anything you like. That's that was that's what I was faced too with. Too many things. Far too many things, and so I put them all in this book. Did you take inspiration from other Doctor Who stories, or were you like, yes, no, I'm write yes. what I want to write? No, I grew up in 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 the uh, you know an, an ancient era, not quite black and white, <laughs> and um, there was a, a story, a famous Doctor Who story called the uh, the Key to Time, and um, I always liked those collect the set sort of um, yeah, sure, <laughs> quest sure. structures and, and it's kind of so so there's influenced by that so the new doctor Jodie Whittaker she uh the series has just really started yes. the last few weeks so you must have known quite a bit in advance the setup and a few secrets about the the new adventures surely yes I was let in on a few secrets which was very exciting because yeah. um um I, I particularly like the fact that um, they, I knew what the TARDIS looked like before most people. Oh. and so But, but they sent me a, um, a, an image of it and so I could describe it in the book. And then I got a, 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 I got a follow-up message saying, Have, you know, now you've described it, you must uh, um, print out the visualisation, uh, shred it and eat it. And <laughs> destroy any evidence. Um, and so there were things like that, which was great. Uh, it, was, it was nice to be in, in on that secret. Was uh, that the biggest secret you were told? The, yeah, the TARDIS, I think. Everybody wanted to keep the, the secret of what the new interior of the TARDIS looked like. That was um, So that was the biggie. And um, yes, and there were certain character things that I needed to know backstory um, but but the big one was was the interior design <laughs> isn't it funny like the, that is the biggest deal that people yeah. were like, desperate to know about the TARDIS because I, I think I was most excited to know what she would wear that was my yes. thing for me yes I think we kind of we got a glimpse of that yeah, a little while early ago, yeah. on earlier yeah. on so that was that kind of yeah I quite liked uh, I, th- I forget was it David Tennant or Matt Smith like the, just the scene of the trying on different clothes yes I quite like the Doctor finding their vibe and finding yes that room is good we used that I used that a lot in, in the book the, the, there's a kind of um, cloak room or, uh, um, where, where um, they get dressed up into various things depending on the, the adventure yeah. or, that they're, they're about to have um, um, in, in the book apart from the Doctor who's your favourite character to write um, Graham I think yeah. Graham's good. Graham's good because he's also very useful. He's the guy who says, uh, so why are we doing this? Mm-hmm. And uh, um, and he's also slightly less keen on the whole adventuring business. Yeah, he's kind of fallen into it, hasn't he? Um, which is great. Yeah. Um, I like that. Um, and, and he's funny. So if we're reading the book, can you give readers or listeners maybe one clue as to the, to the mystery? <laughs> um, what would be the most important... Um, plant-related thing um, in the universe? What would, what's the most important plant there's ever been? Oh. Um, and and that's, yeah, that's a clue. As you take, no, it's technically not a plant, but, um, but yeah, okay, in that, in that kind of uh, uh, um, uh, flora sense, what, it's, yes. Oh, that was a terrible clue. That, oh, was, no. that was confusing. No, I think that yeah. was a good clue. Because I, think, I think I've got, yeah. Okay. It's fine. Yeah, that was a, that was a great clue. Uh, now, you are a Doctor Who fan. I, 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 I think that is fair to say, yes. Who is your Doctor? Who is your favourite? Um, I, I'm Tom Baker. Um, yeah. I, I kind of grew up in, in that era. Um, although I, I can actually remember John Pert to be turning into Tom Baker. So, yes. Um, cool. Which was traumatic. It's traumatic when you when your Doctor goes. When and... you lose the Doctor, 
know. It's really sad. I did make a little Doctor Who quiz for you to see. Uh, so just uh, not saying that you don't have the credentials, but just double checking. Okay. How much you know? Okay. That's okay. This this could go very badly. <laughs> Let's let's find out. Uh, so uh, they, I don't know whether these are difficult or easy, but let's find <laughs> well, that's out. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in the middle. Uh, what year was Doctor Who first on TV? Nineteen sixty-three. Yes, straight away. Uh, this is a many-parted question. Okay. Uh, how many people have played Doctor Who, and can you name them? <laughs> it's quite quite a difficult one. Uh, William Hartnell. Yes. Patrick Troughton. Mm-hmm. John Pertwee. Tom Baker, Peter Davison. Yeah. Um, did he turn into Colin Baker? He did, yes. And then, oh no, oh, uh, Sylvester. Yeah. McCoy. And then we had a break. Mm-hmm. And then we had Christopher Eccleston. Who was in between the break though? Oh, oh yes, of course. Um, oh, the brothers, there's, there's <laughs> many of them. They're very good actors. It was a film... <laughs> It was an American film. The McGann. McGann. Oh, thank you. Okay. There was one of the McGann brothers whose name I, I can't remember. Oh, it was Paul. Uh, it's fine. Well, thank you. Okay. And um, I've already, now you've thrown me. So Sorry. who was after Chris Eccleston? You was it David Tennant? Yeah. And then Matt yeah. Smith. And then um, uh, Peter yeah. Capaldi. And now we have the lovely Jodie Whittaker. Smashed it. That was amazing. Oh, and William Hurt. I, I was John Hurt. John Hurt. Yeah, I was John Hurt, not William Hurt. <laughs> I didn't know whether John Hurt counts Different or not. performance. <laughs> yeah, very different, very different thing going on there. Uh, John Hurt, I was going to give you extra bonus points if you mentioned him, so you've mentioned him, there so congratulations. Go, thank you. Uh, which Doctor Who villain is a flat piece of skin stretched on a frame? Oh, there's something about there's something of Bo. The, is that not her? Oh. No, that's someone else. Or maybe, uh, oh, maybe it's connected, though. The face, it's not the face of Bo. It me- yes. Oh, is maybe it? maybe my answer is wrong. My answer I've got down here is Lady Cassandra. Okay. But did she have connection to the face of Bo? I feel like that makes sense. I don't know. No. <gasps> <laughs> it's as if the quizmaster should have done some more research. <laughs> um, what does TARDIS stand for? Ah, time and relative dimensions in space. Yes. Uh, which doctors did Sarah Jane Smith travel with? Um... The fourth Doctor. Yes. And I guess... Oh, she she left in the fourth Doctor. So that means she must have been with John Pertwee's to his third Doctor as she well. She was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Third and fourth Doctors. Uh, and finally, what was K-9's catchphrase? Affirmative. Yes! Oh, yes! Where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> that was well answered. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Uh, sadly, not all the questions from my end were perfect. <laughs> but you did very well in the quiz. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, do you have more Doctor Who books in the pipeline? Uh, yes, indeed. Um, there will be uh, one more n- uh, next year. And um, um, I can't wait. I, I'm about to start writing it. And so I'm very excited to carry on. This one ends with a, with a cliffhanger. And um, yeah, so it's, um, yeah, it's, it sort of carries on straight from where this one finishes off. So more Jodie Whittaker Doctor Who books on the go. Yes, indeed. Perfect. Well, David Solomon, thank you so much for coming into Fun Kids. Thank you. It's been a pleasure.